Hello from Brussels. COREPERI meetings ended with approvals on the Renewable Energy Directive and talks on the revision of the Waste Shipment Regulation. The European Commission has published its calendar for possible items for the college for the next semester and a few key items are missing. Register now. FEAD is organizing a conference on PFAS in the waste sector at Ecomondo on the 8th of November. Join us for this exciting event. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page and all our social media to get a notification when our next episode drops. Now on to the briefings. Critical Raw Material Regulation During a 20 September conference, Dmitry Lorenzani, member of the cabinet of Maro Sefcovic, new commissioner in charge of the Green Deal, stated that one of the major obstacles of CRM is social acceptance. Waste Shipment Regulation Revision A second round of tree logs took place on 21 September. Packaging and Packaging Waste Regulation The revised compromise on PPWR was discussed on 29 September, in the Council at the Working Party on the Environment. Agreement Concerning the International Carrying of Dangerous Goods by Road Two proposals, presented by FEAD to the RID, ADR, ADN joint meeting last week in Geneva, have been approved. FEAD has proposed to integrate rules about packaging in the ADR and RID that are specifically applicable to waste since it is not the case now. PFAS The ECHA consultation on the restriction of PFAS closed on 25 September. Renewable Energy Directive Corpor I approved, during a meeting on 27 September, the European Parliament's first reading position on the revision of RED. Urban Wastewater Treatment Directive the PPE Group published an amendment for the plenary vote on the revision on the Urban Wastewater Treatment Directive. Classification, Labeling and Packaging of Substances and Mixtures On 4 October, the European Parliament will adopt its position on CLP during the plenary session. Chemical Substances Context to Portiero Statsnumbers and the sale of chemical substances by the EU which show that production is continually increasing. Microplastics on 25 September, the European Commission adopted its text restricting microplastics intentionally added to products. European Commission On 27 September, the European Commission published ITS calendar for possible items for the college for the next semester. Thank you for joining us for the fourth episode of FEAD's newsletter. To register to our conference on PFAS, click on the link in the description box. You will also find the written version of this newsletter. See you next week for another episode.